first things first, I will show you that I got this Windows machine on a domain. And I will log myself in. Now, what I have is a bit more advanced version of my STD, which I have reconfigured to use AD member groups, distribution groups, however you call them, to apply different level of access. So I'm using Zintel, Zentile, however, free community version. So I have my domain controller and I have two groups with two users, Anna in the sales and warehouse Mateusz. So I'm using the same password as I used to log in. And now Mateusz can see his rights and, and as you can tell, he's in the warehouse group. So Mateusz can look up the order because he's in the warehouse so he gets some general information. You can also look up product details. Okay, so that's about it. That's what he needs at the moment. So we're gonna log him out and get in as Anna. Now Anna, of course, with password, yes, I know. Uh, Anna now sees a bit more. So let's go to an order again as Anna this time. Keep in mind that this is the Excel powered uh, <laughs> my STD from like previous videos I'll post it somewhere up there and now as you can tell Anna sees much more information now she's she's like customer details and uh, that's because she's allowed to look at these things because he's, she is in the sales group so you don't need to write any more code to control what's being shown here you just add the person to the appropriate group on your Active Directory. And this obviously will work with your normal Microsoft Windows Active Directory. I just wasn't bothered to set one up. So I just use the Zentile. It's nice and easy, same stick really. Um, so now, as you can tell, this has got much more details, has a sales history. The same if you click on the product, you will have much more information than Mateusz had as a just warehouse worker because he doesn't need all that stuff so hopefully this gives you some sort of oh <laughs> oh that went well <laughs> some code that didn't really work well oh doesn't matter you got the general idea uh that uh, you can control your little intranet with uh, a method by using the active directory groups to actually um have a little access control on what the user sees so when you have a new starter you just add a user in and you add them to the right group like i can potentially do now this hopefully won't take too long peter is like a new starter peter pan and he'll have a password of the same for everyone because it doesn't matter and he's not in any group so I'm adding Peter and he's gonna be a warehouse guy. Bingo, now I'm gonna log out. Peter. And Peter is now logged in. Yes, the password is weak, I know. So yeah, now you've set up a new user, you just added it to the group and you're done. He can use the intranet as a uh, warehouse operator that easy obviously you can make it much more complex so that for instance uh let's use anna again for instance oh, yeah i know i know uh that for instance if there is let's say like a sales manager they might have an extra box underneath with some i don't know 12 average 12 uh, month sales and 24 month sales and 36 month sales so much more information than anna that's in sales um, so you can play around with this and obviously uh tinker to meet your uh, individual requirements but yeah that's just a little uh, extra layer on my std which again allows you to authentic authenticate users versus active directory so they never forget the password and there's no need to set password for this system 
Okay, that's it. Um, thanks for watching.